सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम जस्ट गोन टॉक अबाउट स्टेबल डिफ्यूजन कॉन्फी यू आई कस्टम नोट्स एक्चुअली आई वॉज जस्ट गोइंग ऑन टू स्वीट ए आई एंड फाउंड ऑफ सम ऑफ द कस्टम नोट्स ओवर हियर एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम जस्ट गोन टॉक अबाउट दिस नोट ओवर हियर एंड इट्स प्रिटी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड हैंडी एंड प्रिटी ईजी नोट दैट यू कैन गो एंड एक्सपेरिमेंट विद फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू वट दिस नोट इज इन दिस नोट यू विल फाइंड वेरियस वर्जन ओवर हियर जस्ट लाइक एच डी आर कंट्रोल गोशन ब्लर कंट्रोल सेचुरेशन गोइंग ऑन हिस्टोग्राम इक्वेला Sizer, image flip, image sharpening, and brightness and console. And yeah, it's pretty interesting and it's very easy to install these nodes as well. Just click on any of the option that you want. If you want HDR saturation as well, just click on it and download the nodes. And yes, these are the four nodes that I'm using right now. And yeah, and in order to install it, just right click over here and extract these files on the ConfiUI custom node. Let me tell you where to extract this. Come on to your ConfiUI directory. Go on to ConfiUI and in ConfiUI directory you. You can find custom nodes over here. Just go on to it and extract it over here. As you can see, I have already extracted sharpness, saturation, HDR, and brightness and contrast. And then you just need to run your Confi UI using your NVIDIA or CPU. So guys, after running your Confi UI, it will load on to your basic Confi UI workflow. Now what I will do, I will just run my basic simple text to image workflow over here. See, I will just drag it over here. and yeah this is my basic text to image workflow going on and you can definitely see yeah this is a text to image workflow with checkpoint loader lora loader and yeah all of those things basically all of the basic text to image workflow this is the final output result of the text to image workflow and in order to add those nodes now if you want to add those node and work with that nodes right we want to work so what you need to do is that just right click and click on to add node over here and on add node over here go on to image processing and you will find the nodes are added basically i have only downloaded the four of the nodes brightness and contrast hdr and all of this so first we will go with brightness and contrast as you can see it will add over here now what i need to do is that it's very simple you just need this output this is the main output right over here is the main output of text to image just connect it into this thing brightness and control and the next thing what we will do we will just try to clone this let's clone this and we want this result as well right so we will clone it over here so this is basically complete in this we will get the brightness and contrast result and on the above section we will get text to image result right so that's the thing that we are going and first of all we will go with brightness and now let's see what result do we get now so now guys as you can see this is the first result that we got this is basically a text to image original result that we got with a basic text to image and on bottom you can definitely see this is the result that we got we were using brightness over here with a 0.500 strength so that's the thing that we were using and the brightness is very much over here so what we will do we will try to decrease this brightness let's go with 0.0.055 and now let's see what result do we get okay guys so now you can see after reducing my brightness to 0.005 this is the result that we got this is a basic text to image result and this is a brightened image with a brightness custom node and now if you look closely on to the result you can definitely see on left hand side is a basic text to image and on right hand side is a custom node brightness node result so you can definitely see yes it's brightened over here and yeah definitely amazing result right now what we will do if i want to work on this image what we will do first of all let's close this first of all let's close this and what i I will do is that I will try to uh, disable this uh, random seed generation. Now we will uh, generate and let's see what result do we get. Uh, now after disabling uh, the seeds over here, you can definitely see I disabled the seed over here. And what I got, I got a different result, right? Now let's look on to this. I just want to uh, mess around with this result. And now what I will do is that yes, you can definitely see this is a brightened image as well, right? This is the result. Now what I will do, I will just change these values and let's see what result do we get. I just change this value right and let's see see it started to changing directly started to changing like it's working directly now you don't need to wait and all you can see definitely it's changing if i go directly on to 200 or directly above let's see see directly it's changing so you need to lock on to your seed in order to work with this this is a trick that you can go and experiment with just like this i am just changing we will go with minus values let's go with minus value and let's see what result do we get see i have gone on to the minus 200 value and this is the result that i got pretty interesting and pretty fast as well right so that's the thing that i wanted to show and now 
what we will do we will try to add some more nodes as well so what we will do let's add some more nodes and let's mess around with different different nodes as well we will go with three nodes we will go with saturation as well let's go with saturation i don't know this is some glitch uh, it will not load like this so this is some glitch okay the next node that we will go with like we will go with three nodes so in this we will also go with image sharpening so these are the three nodes that we will use now so basically let's move on our result to different section and now what we will do we will try to connect this so what i want is that i want to connect this as well let's connect this first disconnect this and we will try to connect brightness and contrast is connected saturation is connected sharpening is connected as well and i want this result onto this and now let's see what result do we get now let's generate and you can definitely see this is the result that i got and if i want to change the saturation value let's go with some higher saturation value and let's see see it started changing look at the result guys let me show you once again uh, let's go with the higher saturation value like 2.0 and now let's see look at this guys <laughs> it's totally highly saturated what if i go with like directly zero let's go with zero uh, saturation value and let's see what result do we get okay on zero you can definitely see yeah this is the result that i got totally black and white result grayscale result over here so it's very interesting and fast you can go and control your image as well like sharpening as well over here let's go on to directly uh let's try maximum value first of all and let's see what result do we get six is the ma maximum on sharpening and now let's see what result do we get okay after going on to maximum six sharpening you can definitely see this is the result that i got so yes you can go and mess around with different different thing as well just like image sharpening as well now let's reduce this uh, i just wanted to show you how you can experiment with this thing so let's reduce this to 0.5 sharpening and yeah if you want contrast as well uh, this is we were using brightness right so what i will do now we will change in on to contrast and now let's see what result do we get now okay on minus 0.064 contrast we are not getting the result if you go on to increasing like 0.4 and now let's see what result do we get you can definitely see this is the result that i got on 0.4 contrast right so that's how you can change and if you want brightness and contrast both let me show you you can clone this as well just clone this and yeah this is now the second thing and in this what we will do we will try to mess around with only brightness this is for contrast this is saturation this is image sharpening and now what i will do you just need to connect all of this that's the only thing that you need to do just disconnect this you just need to connect all of this in a line okay now so now you can see everything is in the line this is the text to image result and this is basically the custom node result okay so that's the thing and this time we are also working on brightness as well so brightness one i don't think so we will de uh, decrease the brightness to 0. 0. 0.09 okay and contrast to one and now let's see what result do we get okay so now you can see this is the result that i got you can go and experiment with this thing and yes you can get amazing result and this is now 1.2 contrast and what we will do we will try to decrease the brightness as well and let's see so you can definitely see this is the result that i got now pretty amazing result right now uh, just almost a perfect result just an high contrast value but yes the result is pretty amazing if i compare on to the original result this is the original text to image result so pretty amazing result and yes pretty amazing thing that you can go and mess around and if you want to work around with different image as well so what you need to do is that you just enable this go on to different image generate any image over here so now that's the result that i got a uh, something different result as well and you can see over here this is basically a text to image over here and this is the result we got with the custom node yes pretty amazing right so that's the only thing that i wanted to show you and yes definitely there are some more nodes as well just like i have already shown you there are totally one two three four five six seven there are totally seven nodes that you can go and experiment with just like gaussian blur as well you can see you can blur out your image as well okay so that's the thing that you can go and experiment it pretty handy and pretty interesting nodes that you can go and experiment on confi ui so yes guys that's it for today and yes i will be back with more and more videos tomorrow till then have a good day bye guys love you all guys and take care bye guys